All right, hey guys, what's going on? Rich DeMiro here, and uh, I've gotten this question from a bunch of you on Facebook. Apparently, there's this little video going around on Facebook that shows a guy taking apart a battery in a Samsung phone and revealing this little coiled wire inside, and he's saying that basically, uh, this thing is tracking your every movement, it's taking all of your pictures, it's stealing your info, and I know it's not true, but I'm gonna take apart a battery, show you what's in here, and why it's happening. So I've got this um, old Samsung Galaxy S3 phone, uh, and I'm gonna take apart the battery and we're gonna see what's inside and I'm gonna explain what this is. So there's the battery and here it is. So, and the guy just starts to uh, undo it. Let's see, he just kind of peels it off right here. So let's peel it off. And uh, I have not done this before, so I don't know if this is gonna come off easily, but it looks like it does. And I don't recommend you doing this at home. I, have, I happen to have an older phone available to do this. So here it is. I'm peeling this off and let's see if we find the same little coil that he found inside his phone. And uh, let's see, continuing to peel this off and I think I see it right here. And sure enough, there it is. Okay, so what is this? What is this little coil that he says is stealing all of your personal information? Now, if you notice something really important here, see how it's connected to the battery? What this coil is, this is called NFC, near field communication. What this is used for is communicating with other devices that have NFC. So if you've ever used Apple Pay, if you've ever used your phone as a mobile wallet, this is how it communicates with the little reader. So when you tap your phone on the device, this, this is the antenna. And the reason why it's connected to the battery is because the battery then connects to the phone and delivers that information. So this is not tracking your every device. Yes, your battery will still work without this, like the guy says. Um, but you lose a big functionality of your phone. And if you look on the battery, see what that says right there? Can you read that? It says near field communication. That means that this battery has NFC built in. If you look on Amazon, there are two types of batteries. Batteries that had, have NFC built in, batteries that don't have NFC built in. If NFC is a very useful way to communicate. It does not let your phone communicate with devices that are um, even Far, even further away than this. Like if you take these two phones and you put them together, that's how close they have to be for these things to exchange information. There's no way they're exchanging information this far away. Now if you use Bluetooth, yes, but NFC requires a tap and it requires them to exchange information that way. Now if you look at a new phone, like the Samsung Galaxy S6, guess what? You can't take out the battery. This has that same exact feature, but it's just inside the phone, it's built in. So it's got the same thing, you just can't see it, nor can you rip it out. That's probably a good thing. I don't think you should be sitting there tearing apart your batteries from your old smartphone. So again, uh, Rich Demiro here telling you that the little, little antenna that you see inside your Samsung Galaxy battery is not stealing your personal information. It is useful. Yes, your phone will operate without it, but you won't have all the functionality, nor do you have to be worried about this thing. Um, in fact, most people can just turn off the NFC if you don't want to use that feature and you're just fine. Um, hope that allayed some of your fears. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. All right, uh, you can follow me on Facebook uh, at facebook.com slash richontech or Twitter at Rich Demiro. I'm Rich Demiro. See you later.